Hi, uh, I'm Farouk Ramadan and I'm the designer of the History Stone Concrete Molds. We do sell concrete molds online and this is the 15 inch sphere that we sell and I wanted to make a larger sphere. So today what I'm going to do, I'm going to show how we could make a larger sphere uh, using some thin set and some uh, fiberglass uh, tape and fiberglass mesh. Uh, I have rigged up here the uh, exercising ball. I put air in it and I created a valve. This way I could release the air when I'm done. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to measure this, uh, the diameter of the ball. This way I will know how much fiberglass I'm going to cut. It's 80 inches, so I'll cut a couple of inches more. This is the valve I, I made, and pretty much this is uh, the same what you have on the tire. It's to put the air in, and this is to release the air out of the ball. Inside of it, it's pretty much I have piece uh, that's going inside the ball and it has barbs so it doesn't come out when you inflate the bulb it will expand on it so what I, I made here I made a hoop this hoop it's uh, it's gonna be the size of the opening so I'll you'll see how I'm gonna take care of it and I notched the bucket this way I could have the air hose out of it So what I did, I cut some strips of the fiberglass and I'm gonna put them on the hoop and put them in and after this I'll go ahead and overlap them. You know, here the area on top, it's, it's nice, it has to overlap. So as you see, we're overlapping little bit on top because as it goes down, it's going to widen. going to be using some of the small mesh just to keep it nice and tight. So pretty much a little bit of fiberglass mesh and a little bit of fiberglass tape, you know, it's holding it together. Time to start mixing some of the thin set and spreading it on top of it. We'll see how it goes. This is the rag that I put, I put oil on it to grease the ball. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just cover the valve here. This way it doesn't get any of the cement on it. So just wrap it like this and put it here. This way any splashing will not ruin it. Okay, so I'm, I'm putting rubber gloves this way. The cement will not attack my skin. What I'm doing, I'm mixing small batch at the time. This way I could uh, manage the, the process. So pretty much be sure to mix your uh, thin set nicely. Uh, the same like if you were tiling, the same consistency. And now we're going to start spreading it all over the mesh. 
so pretty much actually I'm gonna start with spreading it by hand like this and after I will trowel it you know that will allow me to push all the creasing in So a little bit, pretty much spreading the mortar all the way around. That second coat, pretty, it will clean it up better. There are some creases, you know. I didn't want to wait until it's dry, so what I did, I tilted it on the bucket. Still, I'm gonna make another coat, so the bucket will leave a ring. At this point, I'm gonna just finish it like this and the second coat will clean it up. So pretty much now I've just uh, putting my hand in some water, damp water, and smoothing it out as much as I can. This way my hands are not sticking to the concrete. At this point I'll leave it at this level, let it dry, and come back and give it another coat. So, as you see, this is the exercising ball. It's all deflated. In the sphere. So what we're gonna do now, uh, I'm gonna acid stain it. So I put a piece of plastic here. I'm gonna put this one upside down and do some acid staining. I'm using uh, olive color and coffee and brick form it's a good brand I like because it does a good job okay I'm gonna start acid staining by spraying it with the spray bottle so So now I'm going to use the coffee color. Now with the brush and by hand I could start spreading the rest of this one on. And as you see some area is going to cover more than the other. So if you want to cover the rest of it here, I'm going to use more of the green and kind of rub it a little bit. You could leave some of the area white if you want to. It's, it's a matter of taste. So uh, you could, with water, wash off the acid, neutralize the acid, or mix some water with the baking soda to start the acid, to neutralize it. I recommend you. I recommend you wait maybe 10-15 minutes before you do this.